has your life changed since uh, Canon acquired Axis? I think that the only significant change is that I get this question quite a lot. But uh, Axis, we are completely independently run from Canon. We have one Canon guy on the board of directors. Very good, uh, Mr. Tanaka-san. Uh, despite that, they uh, let us uh, work independently as they promised, and that was a condition for me to accept the offer. And uh, I think it actually works quite well. What is the most interesting thing that is happening on the video surveillance market right now? So, I mean, we, we see the uh, uh, segmentation of the market, I mean, where people are more and more uh, divided into like the small, the mid and the enterprise solutions and where I think it's important to take more uh, of an integrated approach to the end user, making sure that you have a package solution that really meets the end user's needs, not just selling products. What is your view on Internet of Things? Well, Internet of Things has been something we've been working with uh, for a long time at Axis, more than 20 years actually. And uh, what we are working on is we're focusing on what we call the Internet of Security things, because that's where we have our customers. And this is how we have developed products such as the physical access control, the IP video door stations, and uh, most recently the IP horn speakers, because these are devices that are very natural in a security environment. And uh, having the ability to do audio and access control, that gives you a much better integrated approach, which I think is really what the end users need. What would you say is the biggest trend on the market right now? I think uh, actually Internet of Security Things is one of the main trends, because uh, it's so obvious that uh, you don't just need cameras, you need a lot of other devices that are connected to your system. Axis has always put emphasis on IP cameras being superior to analog. Um, however, right now, HD analog is growing quite fast. Uh, what is your view on that? Well, I mean, uh, it's, it's clearly true that, IP, uh, that the HD analog uh, standards are, are taking a significant uh, growth from, uh, in particular, the analog. So all analog, the death of that is actually accelerating. And uh, of course, it's the same business model when you use an HD analog. But there are lots of flavors. I think there are six or seven different standards for HD analog. So if you're good with a small proprietary system, it's fine. But uh, the long term, I mean, IP video, I think is superior. So uh, yes, it's going to happen for the small independent stores. But for enterprise installations, I don't think HD analog has any play. How can Axis compete with uh, Chinese and Asian manufacturers selling uh, cheaper cameras and growing very fast? So at Axis we have always been competing on uh, quality and uh, services. I mean, if you look on a camera, uh, we make our uh, pro cameras in Asia, so does Hikvision and others. Uh, and I think the cost of a camera is more or less volume dependent. So uh, the other cost, I mean, is service, support and quality. And that's where I think we excel. So Axis cameras, we have to charge for the quality, for the support and the service. And uh, that's what you get. And that makes them more expensive to buy. But in the long run, it's actually cheaper to buy from Axis than to buy from the Chinese.